it doesn't happen like a light switch. We can't just turn it on and instantly everybody's sharing documents. We have a centralized repository of all medical records and anybody's walking around with their PDAs or magic pen and everything's there. It doesn't and it won't work that way. This is a progress steps that we have to take. We know that. We're trying to facilitate that by providing the next step. What we learned from our customers has been they're used to paper. They're used to writing notes down, taking notes on patients. If you take that away from the health provider, you're taking them away from their comfort zone. But guide them. Give them the ability to step from there little by little at their pace to get to full technology. This specific uh, example that I'm using, Dr. Kruger, to be specific, she still does things on paper. But now, she scans it into the files. You can review that information later. That's where her, her next phase is, as she's gotten comfortable, she says, all I need to do is buy a little uh, tablet PC. And now, the system allows me to take notes right on the tablet PC. So she's thinking, writing on the tablet PC. And then as time went on, the next thing she said, wow, you know that super bill, if it was on my tablet PC, all I got to do is just click, 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 and bill it out. That's what happens naturally. We've done it. We all experience it at home. Would any of us deal with dial-up internet access? But the technology was there. It was expensive because it, people that control the industry made it expensive. But now we have choices. What do we do? We'll pay a few extra dollars to be able to bring that web page down in less than a second. We will not settle for dollop. That's what's going to happen in this industry. Our ultimate goal, obviously, is to have a system or systems in place that we can all collaborate. But the key to them is make them as simple as that fax machine. Make it easy for the practitioner to walk their way through to technology. Make it easy for the healthcare providing organizations. Manage their information. And there's no need for that, if, that technology, if you will, to be so expensive that it becomes a barrier to entry. I can tell you our industry, document management, enterprise content management, puts a dollar ticket to organizations, to healthcare prov uh, providers. It's a great industry. We've been told time and time again, hey, get into that industry, man. You, it's a million dollar deals, on and on and on. Can be, it does, if that's what it is, but it doesn't have to be. We're providing those same type of technologies for the price that a practitioner can afford. But that's what, you, that's what we do. And what we see in the industry is technologies there, psychology, acceptance, per, uh, the human factor is really the barrier. And once we start accepting the technologies and start knocking down the barriers of fear and control, we can better start sharing with the technologies we have today. And basically, that's it, if you will. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. It seems that we're all on the same page. It's just now the page is going to be electronic. So. <laughs> um, and as Pete said, I keep thinking of this as we, uh, from the quantum we said earlier, um, keeping this patient-centered, I think, is the best way to go. I, th I think the quantum group has it right there. Um, our next speaker is Jill Fickelstein. Jill is the regional manager of health information management with Coral Springs Medical Center. Coral Springs Medical Center is a 200-bed acute care hospital facility, providing general medicine and surgical services since 1987. The hospital specializes in women's services, orthopedic care, and community education. Coral Springs is a part of the Broward Health Systems, which I'm sure all of you know of, which includes Broward Medical Center, Imperial Point Center, North Broward Medical Center, and more than 30 other community health services and centers. Uh, prior to uh, joining um, Broward uh, Health at Coral Springs, uh, Jill uh, received a Bachelor of Science degree in Health Information Management from here at FIU. 
And last year, congratulations, you received your MBA. Uh, previous to this position, she was also uh, Director of Health Information at Northridge and also at West Boca Medical Center. So with that, Jill. Last speaker of the day, I guess. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, thank you for this opportunity, Jane. Um, this, this topic is near and dear to my heart, um, an electronic medical record, electronic health record. Um, this is, I can actually say I love my job. I'm passionate about it. Um, I've had the privilege of implementing electronic record uh, or electronic an EMR at two facilities. Um, Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, recently, about six, seven months ago, I made the transition um, from the other health system that I was at to Coral Springs Medical Center. Um, very excited um, about a new vision. However, we are a paper-based facility. So if I can tell you that every day I tell, I tell my staff, oh God, I'm in a time warp. Um, looking for our medical record is just it's not something I have not done in about four years. So I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, I don't think I ever will and don't want to because um, we, are, uh, we have a steering committee together that's um, looking at um, what we're going to do with some of our, our paper-based records that aren't uh, microfilmed or aren't scanned yet, um, and then how are we going to move forward. Um, one of the exciting things about um, Broward Health is we have so many systems that are already electronic. Um, even before we, we talk about scanning, um, we're, we're looking at um, a true electronic record. Right now, um, our, our echoes are online, our surgery notes are online. Um, I'm trying to think that our labs, our radiology, those are some of the things that have been online for, for many, many years. Um, one of the things um, that for me in a medical, as a medical records person, and, it's, and I say medical records because uh, sometimes I'll say I'm the director of health information and people look at me like, you do what? So I, I still get it. So sometimes I'll say medical records, but you know, truly it's health information. Um, one of the, obviously the, the major challenge is finding a, a paper-based medical record. Um, a patient, and we talked about here about patients accessing their medical records. A patient will come in and say, I, I need you know, X, Y, and Z to go to a doctor's office. Um, and we always find the chart, but maybe not, not right at that moment when the patient needs it. Um, we'll get it you know, in time for their doctor visit. So accessing uh, medical records in a paper-based um, environment is, is very challenging. I mean, there's just thousands. I mean, we see 10,000 visits. Uh, it's, it is difficult. It is challenging. Um, fully support the electronic health record um, for continuity of care. Um, we pull on an average of three to 500 charts at least a month. I have a full-time person dedicated to only pulling medical records for other folks who need it, our quality department. We have our core measures from CMS that we're required to, um, to report on. So being efficient in, is difficult in a paper environment. So certainly I, I can't wait to, to move forward to a, um, an electronic uh, environment where we're, where we're at right now. Um, I talked about the reduction. Um, Physicians, um, you know, they're, they're one of our biggest customers besides the patients coming in. Um, and, and I do get the question, you know, can I sign it online? Um, it, it, as much as I, I, you know, I can't wait to, till we do it. Um, the physicians are, are seeing that a lot of other facilities are moving towards an electronic record, and that's where we need to be. Um, physicians are, are now... Um, Four years ago, I had a lot of trouble. You know, I had a few physicians who never even opened an email address prior. Um, so moving them um, was, was a challenge. And now everybody is for it. They're looking for efficiencies. Um, they want to access medical records um, off-site. Um, there's no reason they need to come into medical records to look at a lab report to make a clinical decision. Um, one of the other things that we, we do have currently, even though I, I say that we're a paper-based, we have a central repository where doctors can access labs, radiology, um, respiratory notes um, in, in a, 